What's going on guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to another video. I know y'all just heard the echo. That's because I'm in a new room. I literally just painted it yesterday, but the package did arrive in time. You're probably like, what in the world is this brand? And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you all about it right after the intro. But welcome to On Feet. This is where I check out new and old sneakers. I unbox them, get my first impressions. And then after that, I show them On Feet. So this is a new brand. It's actually a new company from uh, Perky's brother. If you don't know who Perky's brother is, his name is Mickey. He started a brand called True Loved One. His first product is called Green Apple Loved One Slides. And I actually went ahead and ordered them. They did run me $65, so they are a little bit expensive. They are on the more expensive side. They are more of a premium type of slide. I was actually talking with them and kind of trying to get an idea of how to come up with the name and whatnot. He didn't really talk about how he came up with the name. He was keeping me posted as far as updates. He literally shipped it out the next day. Um, it arrived in seven days, so I ordered it last Thursday and it arrived this Thursday. If you don't know who Ashley is or Perky, I'll link her channel in the description box below. You can check out her gaming channel as well as her uh, reaction channel. But Mickey is her brother, and like I said, he started out his own company, and I really wanted to support them and their, their brand and everything. Now, I went on the About Us page of his uh, website, trueloveone.com. If you want to check it out, I'll, again, I, everything will be in the link in the description below. But it does say, love is patient and love is kind. Love doesn't envy and love is not arrogant. This is actually a Bible verse if you're wondering. He did add a little extra on the end here, but it says, it doesn't insist on its own way. We are to love one another as we are to love ourselves because we are made of the image of love, for I am love. I actually made a comment on his Instagram and I was like, hey bro, are they comfy? His sister actually responded and uh, said that they were more of a firm type of slide, kind of like a Gucci slide, but more of like, kind of like a shower slide. So not super comfy, but it does have a little squish to it. And I think I kind of get what they mean, but I'm gonna go ahead and unbox these things and check them out. Now these were actually supposed to come yesterday, Wednesday, but they did end up getting delayed. And as someone who works in logistics or used to work in logistics, I kind of figured that was gonna happen because usually in my area, a lot of the time something ends up happening with the package that gets backed up or it just ends up being left at the warehouse, unfortunately. But with that being said, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what we got here. I know you're not supposed to cut towards you, but so be it. We did pack this thing pretty tight here, or whoever packed it, packed it pretty tight. It is based out of, I think it said Oakland. When I looked at that uh, manufacturer place, it said Oakland. And yeah, he got these really on here. Cut this one. All right, there we go. He did pack it nice. I'll give it that, he packed it really well. So the packaging isn't anything crazy, but I do like that it has the Love One logo on here. Let me put this aside really quick. As you see there, it does have Love One uh, for their logo. That's basically the logo design. It's basically a simple kind of black box, nothing crazy, but at least it is a black box instead of something like just a regular car or one. So let's go ahead and take this open. Oh, he put it in a bag. Okay, it does come in a bag. He's got the love one branding on these. That's pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie, that's actually pretty cool to have a little carrying case for these. That way you kind of want to put these on maybe once you finish basketball or something. I definitely think these are gonna be more of an outdoor slide because they do feel pretty firm. All right, all right. The color is looking nice, Mickey. I'm not gonna lie, the color looks fire. All right. Okay. Okay. Now, one other thing I wanted to go ahead and mention, this is a size 11. It doesn't even look like a size 11, I'm not gonna lie. But the comfort, it does look like it has a lot of foam. So check that out. I actually kind of loaded up for y'all so you can kind of look. The bottom is more of a cream color, kind of like a, a Timberland or like maybe like a, a more of a work style boot on the bottom. So they're definitely an outdoor slide, which I'm not mad at because I needed an outdoor slide. The color is amazing. I love the color of these. Green Apple is definitely a great color name, or Green Apple Loved Ones is the name of the shoe. He's got the Loved Ones logo. It's actually kind of embroidered or actually sticking up its raised logos. That's really nice. Very nice touches. I don't know how he came up with the design, 
or who came up with the design, but they did a great job. Like I said, the bottom is more of like a boot, which is pretty different. You don't usually see a design like this on the bottom. It is firm, so I do feel like he could maybe make a softer version of this in the future, but again, this is a startup brand, so you know. It does smell like a, it smells like a rubber toy, actually. It reminds me of like an old rubber toy. Um, it does say made in Italy or designed in Italy, so yeah. And in euros, this is a size 45 for those of you who are wondering. This is the highest size available currently. I do remember him saying that he purposely made the slides in like a lower size volume just because he wanted it to be more available. But I will say I would have started with probably a size probably eight and up because most men, most men out here are wearing size honestly 11 and up. Um, I am where I do usually wear size 11 at my regular shoe size. So this being a size 11 slide is not normal for me, but I feel like it's going to fit pretty much perfectly. The inside here does feel like rubber. So like I said, this is more of an outside shoe for sure. Like I don't mind that. So I got these things on feet now. I've been walking around them for probably about 15, 20 minutes. And here's my honest review on it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it or anything. I'm going to keep it plain and honest because this is also going to help the company to figure out what to do better. These shoes are great. Honestly, they look amazing. I love the way they look on feet. They actually feel pretty nice. Like they're not super hard, but they are definitely firm. So don't, don't think you're getting like a, in fact, I got them right here. The Adilet, uh, the Adilet slides from Adidas. These are like 20 bucks. They're super comfortable. Honestly, this is my go-to slide that I just put on my feet when I just want to go to like the grocery store or something or like go out and take a trash something. This is what I wear. The bottom of it is nice. The sole is solid. You really can't complain about these other than the fact that I wouldn't want to run in these. I wouldn't want to really wear these in the airport or something. But these slides, in fact, I'll take them off so you can at least look at one of them. The biggest difference, first of all, is that these have about one and a half inches almost two inches, it's actually over one and a half inches, it's over one and a half inches of boost. You can literally see the difference. I mean, it's night and day as far as, it's almost two times as big as the uh, Adilet slides. So my biggest complaint, honestly, would be the top part. This part is, a, is like slightly too loose to where the slide wants to come a little bit forward when I'm walking. So like, it, my, my foot will come like, it'll go right to like this top part here. Even though it fits perfectly, if this was tightened down a little bit more or I could adjust it, this would make this shoe like perfect. Like I wouldn't even have a problem with it. It does seem like it's a one molded shoe and it doesn't look like it was a two part mold where they glued one part on like the Adilet slides. Like you can tell like this is a two part mold. This just seems like a one part mold. But like I said, the designer did a great job. I think they look visually appealing. I like the way they look on feet. And I think you all kind of like them as well. It's definitely more of a casual wear type of slide. Like I'm just kind of going out to be stylistic. Um, it's not more on the ends of I'm looking for comfort. If you're looking for comfort, I'm going to tell you, just get the Adelaide slides because these, these are not, they're not that comfy. I'm not going to lie. They're not that company, but they're comfortable enough to where I could definitely wear them and wear them out and not really be like, man, my feet hurt or anything. I don't think they were going to make my feet hurt. They're just a firm type of, it's more of a firm material than the Adelaide slide. But overall, I think you all did an amazing job for your first design shoe and your first product. You did an awesome job, Mickey. Shout out to you and your team um, and everybody who was involved with it. Y'all did a great job. I would say lower the price just a little bit. I would say this is more like a probably $45, $50 shoe, but I understand, I get it. You want this to be more of a fashionable statement. So, and the design does look fire. You don't usually see green slides like this. So I gotta give you that. As far as someone who has a business mindset like myself, I'd say lower the price a little bit, get some more sizes, make it slightly more comfortable and fix this part right here. Like I said, just a minor tweak, you just need to fix that. And honestly, you got yourself a perfect slide, my guy. All right, so let me show these on feet. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and peace out.